Have you ever wondered about electric current in metals? What it is and what causes it? Maybe you've wondered why metals are good conductors. Well, it turns out metals are good conductors because of the way metal atoms bond to each other, called metallic bonding. To understand metallic bonding, we need to look at the structure of the atom. An atom contains a central nucleus where protons and neutrons are found. A neutron has no charge. A proton has a relative charge of plus one. An electron has a relative charge of minus one. Protons and neutrons each have a relative mass of one. The relative mass of an electron is nearly 2,000 times lighter, so we usually just say its mass is so small that it's negligible. An atom always has the same number of protons and electrons, so it has an overall charge of zero. If an atom gains or loses electrons, it gains an overall charge and is called an ion. Electrons orbit around the nucleus in what we call shells. They are kept in orbit around the nucleus because opposite charges attract. If an atom has a full outer shell, it's stable. Metal atoms don't have full outer shells, so are reactive. However, metal atoms lose the electrons from their outer shell when they bond together to form positive metal ions. The metal ions have full outer shells and so are stable. The positive metal ions are surrounded by a sea of free negative electrons which hold them in place. If you put a voltage across a piece of metal the negative free electrons will flow toward the positive terminal. This is current electricity. Electrical circuits will often show the current flowing from the positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal. This is called conventional current and was first thought of by Benjamin Franklin before the discovery of the electron. Lots more 3D animations coming up in future videos. Thank you very much. Work hard and be nice. Want to see more videos like this? Subscribe to my channel, GCSE Physics Explained. Bye for now.